dealers have made great strides in embracing social media, but they still need help, as social media sites are constantly changing. Dealers should still be focused on selling cars and retaining customers. Our industry is definitely embracing social media and reputation management, and we're seeing more and more every day that dealers are really getting more savvy, but they also see the value and the importance around managing these mediums. So what we're seeing across the board is dealers really do need help with this because the sites are changing constantly. Whether it's, you know, Pinterest is here, how do they use Instagram at their dealership, should mm -hmm. they use it, how does that all work together, what's going on with Google, you know, Plus local today, mm -hmm. what's going on with Google Plus, how does that integrate, how about Yelp and the Yelp filter, I mean it just goes on and on. So they're asking the right questions and they're definitely, as I said, getting more savvy, but they need help managing it. Mm -hmm. It's just too much. They need to be selling cars and making sure their customers are really happy. So that, that's kind of the shift we've seen. When we were at NADA a couple years ago, it might have been like, how does Twitter work? And now it's no longer, that's no longer the question. It's how can I leverage Twitter to drive more traffic into my dealership? The big kind of shift that we're seeing right now is that you know, I think CSI is going online. The power of CSI now is in online reviews. And the manufacturers are definitely starting to see that and embrace that. So they, they do want to look at online reviews. Um, what's your aggregate score across multiple review sites? And I can see that now factoring into a new CSI score. I think the days of getting a mailed survey three or four weeks after you've purchased or service just aren't going to cut it. It's not, consumers, you know, if I've just had my vehicle serviced, I want to maybe be surveyed immediately. And if not, I might go online and tell the world what I think. So the manufacturers definitely need to have a plan to kind of pull this all together and help dealers manage it as well.